Divinity Perkins, hi, how you doing? Hi. My daughter is freaking right now. <laughs> She's 11. I didn't, for some reason, I didn't tell her you were coming in. I just kind of strolled in. I thought, I should have, oh my God, I should have told Sophie. And I told her and she's flipping at the house. So there's that. That's so cute. Is this your first radio, radio interview? This is my first radio, radio interview. So how's it feel so far? It feels chill. Like, I like it. All right. Cool. Yeah. I hope, hopefully I won't screw anything up, you know. <laughs> By the way, uh, your track, we're going to play her track in a couple of minutes. And uh, yeah, if you don't know her, I should back up a little bit. You have a gazillion, a gazillion TikTok followers. I mean, how many do you got? Uh, I think on an account with me and my sister, I have like three million. And then on my personal account, I just hit 600K. And then, yeah, it's Good just Lord. like all combined on that. Your sister, the one sitting right there? The one sitting right next to me. <laughs> Holding the camera. <laughs> All right, so what do people need to know about you? We'll get to the song in a second, which, by the way, I, was, I heard the song for the first time earlier today. I was floored. This thing uh -huh. is legit, man. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, um, know about me? Hey, give me something. Something you hmm. don't say like, every day. Everything I do every day? Something you don't say every day. Oh, something I don't say every day. Breaking news here. Breaking news. I love sleep. I don't say that a lot online, and I love sleep. <laughs> oh, and I love to dance, which is another thing. I do dance on TikTok, which is... I now call musically whatever, right. but I like to dance and sleep. Divinity, uh, let's let's do this track. I was uh, when I first heard this track, I was I was blown away. I, I'm you know I don't know what I was expecting, but dude, you got something legit going on. Oh, that makes me so happy. I mean seriously. Uh, before I play it though, I guess maybe there was some sort of a destiny involved, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. you were I, I don't know when this was, but tell me the story. Like three months, like roughly three months, you're away from your family, traveling around with uh, with Travis Barker? Yes. What the um, what? My ex-boyfriend is Landon. I mean, we're good friends now, but I was super close to that family, so um, I don't know. He asked me to go on tour, and I did. I left my family for three months, and I was on tour with Blink-182. Which was actually amazing. I used to sit out stage on the like on the stage every single show with Landon and just watch the fireworks and all the drums. We used to throw drumsticks on after every show. I don't know. It was just like life changing because it just made me like, wow, I want to be up on the stage one day like with my own music. What do you think you learned from? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was mainly just having a great time, yeah. just chilling, you know. But what did you learn that you from him or them that you think you may have channeled into uh, your music or that you may channel into? Um, That's a deep question. Practice, to be honest. I see them practice so much. Like Travis, he's like my second dad, but every time I was on the like the tour bus, I see him drumming and drumming in the whole time room. He drums until how late? Like he doesn't matter. Like even though he's already like the best in the world, I, I <laughs> he just it's it's still practice. So like me, I feel like me keep on doing it is I'm gonna get better. And he, even though people are like, oh my god, you're the best in the world, he thinks if he keeps on doing, it, he's gonna get better. Even though Isn't I don't. That crazy. It's insane. Like you know, he doesn't. Have to practice to no. be epic. No, I hear yeah, him. There, you, there you go. Yeah, I, he was like, one time he tried to teach me something. I was like, I can't do that. And it was so easy for him. And I was like, <laughs> dude, what the? How does your hands move that fast? I was so confused, but I don't know. But he taught me how to like, I don't know, just keep on practicing, and you're gonna get better. Even though you think you're the best, I, you can always be better. If that's what I learned. And what about this track? I assume you played this among other tracks for him. What is his response as we get into to this track? On my old tracks, he def he liked them. He asked, he asked on my old song if he wanted to drum on it. I was like, oh, yes. But I didn't, like, to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. Because I was like, Travis Barker, he's like my second dad. But everyone else was like, bro, it's Travis Barker. I'm like, uh. So he's like, do you, do, you want to, do you want me to drum on your track? You're like, eh, whatever. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and every, like, everyone older I knew was like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, what? Like, I'm so good. Travis Barker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Divinity Park is taking out. This track is called Jekyll and Hyde. What do people, give me everything. What do people need to know about this track? Everyone needs to know, uh, just listen to the lyrics, bro. It's definitely really relatable, very heart-touching. I don't know, I feel like girls need to listen to this because, like, you don't, someone can make you feel a certain way. I feel like in my lyrics, I kind of twisted a little bit. Like, you can still be there for someone if they're making you feel, like, not as good. But honestly, just, like, leave it alone. Just, like, I don't know, just listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics and take it in and let it, let it touch you. All right. Headphones in, earbuds in, here we go. Jekyll and Hyde, Divinity Perkins, Kiss FM, premiere. Here we go. I hate it when you push me to the side. I hate the way you yeah. smile when you lie. Feeding me excuses all the time. Yeah. Why do you do this to me? I hate it when you're jealous of my friends. Out of me for hanging out with them. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. That is you on the radio.
feeling right now. Oh my god. That's insane. Hey, who was the uh the uh, the the rap feature? Sue Generous. All right. Shout to him. Well done. <laughs> Divinity Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Divinity Perkins. Did you have? Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a good time. Yeah. All right, you guys, make sure to check out Jekyll and Hyde. I assume it's streaming on all platforms, so get on this track. Uh, working on new music all the time, I assume. Yes. Now I am after this one, but now I'm gonna be in the studio a lot because I have a lot of feelings right now. You know. You gotta, you know, <laughs> get them out. <laughs> gotta get them out. Music. All right, Divinity. At the end of every interview, fist bump to make it official. Give me a little. Thank bam. you. You got it, man.